Kia ora. Fluoridation of water supplies is also another issue in New Zealand, with some people very pro using fluoride in water and others very anti, and for various reasons. Now, we don't want to go into the social side of, of this as in mass medication and that sort of uh, aspect. We're going to be looking at the chemistry of how fluoride affects teeth. So, you again need to look at the macroscopic, microscopic, and model level. So the reasons for adding fluoride, physical properties, what issues can arise from using fluorides. You can do touch on all the, um, like mass medication and so on, but focus also on the chemistry of it and what changes have been made. So, so for instance, fluoridated toothpaste, uh, you can compare that to using fluoride in water, the topical versus the ingesting into your body. Um, then also at the microscopic level, or it's really submicroscopic, look at the chemical structure of teeth. So the difference between hydrox hydroxyapatite and fluoroapatite. Look at how the fluoride interacts with the hydroxyapatite to make the fluoroapatite. Com um, compare the KS values, what is making, uh, what is more soluble and why, which one has got a smaller KS value. Think of also the pH, how does pH interact, um, as in the hydronium ions, if you've got a lower pH, you need to be able to discuss equilibria and uh, Le Chatelier's principle. And then with your model level, can you write formulae? Can you write equations? Can you write KS and KA expressions? And finally, why choose this topic? While well, you're interested in this topic, perhaps, you may have seen some adverts from the anti-fluoride brigade, or you might be very keen on using fluoride for your teeth. But you also need to have level three chemistry. So you should have finished the 3061 or the 3062 and the 3062 modules, because you need to be able to do solubility expressions, discuss the equilibria with Le Chatelier's principle, use weak acids, pH, and um, the equilibria there to see how your teeth can change as you change the t uh, pH and how your the fluoride protects that. And again, it's a chemistry standard, not a biology standard or a social science standard. So we want to see the chemistry. Please don't just copy and paste drawings. You need to, uh, from the internet, you need to do your own. So you can always take photos of your own drawings and upload those. Kia ora.